seniors, welcome to your senior assembly for 2020. I know that normally we would be gathered in the gymnasium, um, but obviously this is a special circumstance this year, so we're going to try to make it a great experience for you. Hope all you guys are well. Normally I always start off the senior assembly by talking to you guys about remembering this moment, and I always say put your cell phones away and talk to each other and look each other in the eye and just kind of enjoy the last couple days as, as students. This year obviously is different. Phones and our laptops have taken on new meaning as they've been uh, our way to stay connected during all this. So, um, but I still encourage you to, to stay connected, enjoy these last few days as seniors, and hopefully we'll be able to get together soon and celebrate. Um, but I also wanted to start off today by talking to you about success and failure. I think a lot of us, um, obviously at the end of your educational journey, uh, success is something that you've uh, accomplished. By graduating from high school and throughout your high school years you've been focused on success and failure and you've worried about achieving you know what everyone else tells you is success and always worried about you know if any mistakes that you make are going to contribute to failure you know would one bad grade would one day of suspension would one mistake you know contribute to you failing or not reaching you know the goal that you had set out for yourself as you leave here and as you walk out into the world and as you decide you know, what you're going to, to do with your life, just remember you will encounter failure. Failure is not something to shy away from. Failure is not something to be afraid of. Failure is something to embrace. It's how we learn. It's how we grow. So as you go out into the world and as you make your decisions about what you want to do next, as you achieve success but also encounter failure, just remember to embrace it, to learn from it, to learn from that journey and become better for it. I hope that the last four years, the journey that you've had as a Ruston student has been a journey that has made you a better person. Uh, I know that we are all better for having enjoyed the journey with you, and I wish you luck as you move forward. Okay, so as we, as we go, let's start with the awards. We're gonna start, uh, I have my script here in front of me. We're gonna start with our awards for academics and service. So as I read each award, uh, I'll read the description of the award, and then I'll just um, announce the winner, and congratulations to, to all of our winners. Our first award for uh, today is our School Board Representative Award, and that's going to go to Brent Long. Brent represented us so well uh, in the school board this year, and we want to recognize him for that. Next, our Student Council Award for Meritorious Service to Ruston High School as a member of the Student Council. We like to recognize Bridget Duffy. Congratulations, Bridget. Thank you for everything that you have done. Bridget also, along with Brent and some other seniors, um, really helped put together today's award ceremony. So thank you, Bridget. The Principal's Award is given to recognize seniors who have contributed to Ruston by demonstrating values that we reinforce as a community, such as spirit, honesty, hard work, a positive attitude, service, and respect for others. This year, the Principal's Award will go to Arjun Chowdhury, Mara Connell, Madeline Folletti, Francesca Fioravanti, Jack Callahan, Gracie Law, Madison Marzano, Cesar Rodriguez Torres, and Victor Rodriguez Torres. Congratulations. The National Merit Competition always recognizes seniors for achieving recognition through their scholarship program. This year, we were able to recognize eight seniors for accomplishing recognition through this program. So we'd like to um, recommend the following seniors for being commended scholars. Patricia Curtis, Bridget Duffy, Kim Lee, Emma Southern, and Zach Waterman. And we also have three seniors who have achieved the status of being a finalist in the National Merit Competition. We want to congratulate Matt Ferguson, Justin Morrison, and Catherine Zhu. Congratulations. Great achievement. Each year for the past, this is the third year, um, we will be giving out the Bianca Roberson Memorial Scholarship. This is a scholarship in honor of Bianca, who graduated from Ruston a few years ago. And um, the scholarship is given to students who share Bianca's qualities. Specifically, students um, will have successfully overcome a number of obstacles to find academic growth and success at Ruston High School. Students will be positive, friendly, and upbeat, and will demonstrate loyalty to their friends. The award is uh, selected by a nominating committee, um, along with Mrs. Roberson, who makes the final decisions. This year, uh, the Bianca Roberson Memorial Scholarship will go to two seniors. Megan Hartz and Cass Tilly. Congratulations. 
Initiated in 1999, the Spelman Humanitarian Awards go to uh, seniors who demonstrate the spirit of volunteerism that was personified by Dr. Elwood M. Elwood M. Spellman, who was a member of the Westchester School Board from 1951 to 1969. The 10 recipients that we are recognizing today were nominated by their teachers for their spirit of volunteerism and citizenship that was so central to Dr. Spellman's life. Those 10 seniors are Jordan Srincione, Bridget Duffy, Lucas Edmonds, Abby Earhart, Knox Hamilton, Kim Lee, Brent Long, Nina Nizreko, Nathan Podgurski, and Katya Simpkins. Congratulations on that tremendous honor. The Mathematics Achievement Award is given to a senior or seniors uh, who demonstrate excellence in mathematics chosen by members of the mathematics department. This year's recipient started her high school career in academic algebra 1A. She moved ambitiously through increasingly more challenging math courses in order to take honors algebra 2 senior year. Along the way, she has consistently impressed her teachers with her strong sense of self, perseverance, and dedication to truly achieving her personal best. Congratulate the winner of the Mathematics Achievement Award, Catherine Rice Rivera. Congratulations. The Technology Education Department would like to recognize students who have shown great pride in work in the area of materials and woodworking. Their drive and depth of knowledge will serve them well throughout their life. We congratulate the following seniors for being recognized. Christian Clark, Jason Delgott, Kyle Liberator, Eleanor Mosco, Hannah Rikito, Gabe Walsh, and Dan Wethy. Congratulations to you guys. The following student has demonstrated over the past three plus years dedication and enthusiasm in the field of drafting, engineering, and design. Congratulations to John Harkins. The Child Development and Education Practicum Award is given to students who have been in the program for three years and have shown exceptional work in our preschool lab program and at our partner elementary schools. Congratulations to Madison Bucci, Knox Hamilton, Ashley Hassan, Lauren Hawes, Lauren Lockhart, Gianna Magalon, Lydia Mason. Congratulations. The National Business Honor Society Awards go to the following recipients. Matthew Bosch, Nick Cornell, Justin Demian, Katie Doherty, Thomas Doherty, Maddie Filetti, Carly Hans, Peter Nelson, John Page, Bryce Pugh, Ben Sminky, Luke Stout, Danielle Turner, Morgan Bitsberger, Alec D. Michelle, Stephen Jennings, Quinn Kaiser, Luke Krikorian, Stephen Cooters, Gracie Law, Matthew Montgomery, Cesar Rodriguez Torres, Abigail Sullivan, and Jason Thorne. Congratulations. The Outstanding Service for National Honor Society Award is given for students' abilities to anticipate the needs of the NHS and efficiently provide service to the peer tutoring program. The award for outstanding service to the Bayard Russin chapter of the National Honor Society goes to Justin Morrison. Congratulations, Justin. Our last set of academic and service awards are for world language, and there are a number of them. The students of French, German, Italian, Latin, and Spanish are being recognized today not only for the quality set forth by the World Language Honor Societies, such as character, leadership, and academic excellence, but also for their continued dedication and passion for world language study. The Spanish Award for Excellence goes to Alec Peron. Congratulations, Alec. The Spanish Award for Dedication goes to Maddie Folletti. We also honor the members of our Spanish National Honor Society. Sarah Barrar, Abigail Bernard, Logan Beveridge, Morgan Bitsberger, Riley Boyd, Brooke Burns, Olivia Carzo, Shane Citronbaum, Kelly Clark, Mara Connell, Patricia Curtis, Justin Demian, Megan Dion, Bridget Duffy, Lucas Edmonds, Matthew Ferguson, Alex Folletti, Maddie Folletti, Hope Geisler, Kaylee Hawes, Lexi Hawes, Justin Henschel, Maddie Hinman, Gabby Hoffman, Carly Hans, Emily Halk, Stephen Jennings, Kevin Kent, Anya Coiner, Sydney Layton, Kim Lee, Kelsey Lucenius, Lee Mahoney, Tara Marcelli, Madison Marzano, Eric Mastrangelo, Justin Morrison, Hannah Mummert, Peter Nelson, Nina Nizreko, Carson O'Leary, Matthew Owens, Jack Page, Alec Perone, 
Grace Plona, Catherine Ricciuti, Bella Rigel, Shreya Roberson, Grace Schlesinger, James Schmidt, Matthew Scaffone, Andrew Single, Emma Southern, John Spaniak, Katie Stubitz, David Subers, Sam Sumner, Emily Supley, John Szymanski, Sienna Truscott, Alexander Waldman, Zach Waterman, Skylar Watkins, Sahara Widmeyer, Sahara Widmeyer, Ella Wood, Hannah Wright, Joseph Savitsky, and Catherine Zhu. Congratulations. I told you there were a lot of names. The German Award for Excellence goes to Abby Kane, and the German Award for Dedication goes to Luke Krikorian. Congratulations. We also honor the members of our German Honor Society, Regina Gentili, Nathaniel Johnson, Hisan Jung, Abby Kane, Simone Kegg, Luke Krikorian, Brent Long, Nick Lukavich, Shane McCrell, Nick Madonna, Leah O'Brien, Elsa Pansner, Anne-Marie Patterson, Bradley Padone, Harry Prince, Sarah Soroka, Eric Sauceline, Alex Sauceline, Evan Saylor, Colin Shorick, Alex Snelling, and Cole Snyder. Congratulations. The French Award for Excellence goes to Elise Maddy, and the French Award for Dedication goes to Cameron Host. We also honor the members of our French Honor Society, Erlis Barbara, Emily Bassick, Myra Cardona Padilla, Julia Cooper, Abby Earhart, Cameron Host, May Kling, Jessica Levens, Levens, Elise Maddy, Isabel Okuolu, Alexander Strunk, Katia Tuomanen, Sophia Waldman, and Hope Wisser. The Italian Award for, Award for Excellence goes to Isabella Mummert, and the Italian Award for Dedication goes to Corinne Farley. We also honor our Italian Honor Society members. Abigail Borklin, Gabby Davis, Corinne Farley, Mackenzie Lampert, Evangelia Mikos, Isabella Mummert, and Nathan Podgurski. And finally, the Latin Award for Excellence goes to Emma Southern, and the Latin Award for Dedication goes to Matthew Montgomery. Congratulations to you guys. And also, Matt and Emma are members of our Latin Honor Society members, so we congratulate them as well. This concludes our awards for academics and service, and our next set of awards are for clubs and activities. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Congratulations, Class of 2020. You made it. These next few years will challenge you, will test you. They tell you, you know, how you need to go out there and change the world. Um, the world's changing on its own. You know, my advice to you is to remember that when you start this next chapter of your life, it might feel like you're stepping into an unknown situation just like you did four years ago when you were a freshman here at Ruston. You may experience times of sloth. One o'clock, time for Zoolander again. Times of disappointment. And even times of outright confusion. Is milk sandwich a thing? But I can tell you this, uh, adversity reveals character, uh, and your character is amazing, it's strong. I have seen great qualities in this class, necessary qualities for the challenges that lie ahead. And they do lie ahead, class of 2020, but you will rise to meet them. I encourage you all to remain strong, positive, and wise. Be the leaders that you're called to be. Keep working hard, keep a positive attitude, Go off to college and do even more amazing things. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waving, so get on your way. Bigger, better, and more wonderful things are waiting for you, and they will happen in time. Hang in there, do your best, and everything will work out. If you learn anything through all of this, know that you are so loved. No matter, no matter what, what you do or where you go, you'll always represent the best of Ruston. But the nice thing is that if you all need to come back, our community isn't ended just because you've graduated. Know that the faculty and staff of Ruston High School will be in your corner and shoulder to shoulder with you. And remember that even in the future, even once you leave Ruston, Ruston is always a part of you and the teachers are here to continue to support you. And we are still going to be here for you should you need us. As you leave us, don't be a stranger. Please come back and visit. 
and check in with us next year and the year after and let us know how you're doing. Uh, so congratulations on graduating and good luck in whatever it is that comes next for you. I hope you are able to find a way to feel congratulated and soak it in because you deserve it. I hope you have a lot of fun, make a lot of new friends, work really hard, but remember to always make good choices. So continue to be the awesome people that you are. Buena suerte con todo. You guys are going to do amazing things. You're amazing people. And we're really, really proud of you. Now go out into the world and do something great. Remember, life isn't always about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. So Rust in class of 2020, you need to dance because you deserve it. I wish all of you the best that this world has to offer all of you. May you see your future with perfect vision. Uh, be safe, be smart, make good decisions. Okay, so part two of our senior awards is for clubs and activities. So we're gonna begin with DECA. The four-year DECA Participant Award is given to the following students for making a commitment to business and marketing education and have all been strong DECA members throughout their high school career. Congratulations to Megan Dion, Maddie Folletti, Carly Hans, Dan McNamara, Matt Montgomery, and John Page. Congratulations. The three-year DECA Participant Award goes to the following students for completing three years in our DECA program. Nick Cornell, Don Huggins, Quinn Kaiser, Luke Krikorian, Stephen Cooters, Gracie Law, Samuel Sumner, and Jason Thornton. The Black Student Union exists to enhance cultural awareness, social events, and to provide support for all students and the local community. This year, the Rustin Black Student Union would like to recognize Shreya Roberson, Nina Nizreko, Gabby Davis, Aubrey Eason, Regina Gentili. Congratulations. The New Directions Program, located at the Melton Center in Westchester, provides academic coaching, homework help, and activity support for elementary and middle school age students located within our school district. The New Directions Program would like to recognize the following students for their help this year. Maddie English was an outstanding and dedicated member as an academic coach for the Charles A. Melton Center's New Directions Program in her first year in the program. As an academic coach, Maddie tutored and mentored fifth and sixth grade students to help them excel academically and develop strong social emotional skills. We appreciate her dedication and commitment to our students and the community. Hope Geisler has been an outstanding and dedicated member of the academic coach team for the Charles A. Melton Center's New Directions program throughout her high school career. As an academic coach, Hope tutored and mentored students in grades K to 6 to help them excel academically and develop strong social emotional skills. We appreciate her dedication and commitment to our students and the community. Great job, Hope and Maddie. Congratulations. The Guidance Office would like to recognize the following seniors for their daily commitment to supporting the department by hand delivering passes to student homerooms every day. Allie Kern, Catherine Rice Rivera, Elizabeth Rice Rivera, Riley Smith, and Josue Nieves. Congratulations. The American Latino Program provides opportunities for members to learn Latino culture and share their Latino culture while also promoting academic achievement, cultural awareness, and community involvement. Alexis Ortiz and Viviani Rodriguez have led ALP members and inspired them to participate in the American Latino Club's efforts to help the community since the inception of the ALP. Thank you and congratulations. The Creative Writing Club has benefited from the leadership of two young women who have made it a place for writers of any genre to share their talents and express their voices. These two students have provided weekly writing prompts and created a comfortable space that inspires and encourages the writers in the group. Thank you to Aubrey Eason and Sarah Soroka for your leadership and vision for a successful club. The mission of the Gender and Sexuality Alliance is to foster a safe learning environment and respect for diversity within Ruston High School, especially focusing on awareness of issues relating to sexual orientation and gender and identification through education, advocacy, and social support networks. The Ruston GSA would like to recognize the following students for their leadership and participation. Aubrey Eason, Corinne Farley, Hope Geisler, Abby Kane, and Emma Southern. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Chesok, who will be giving the awards for the academic team. Hello. The academic team awards are presented to seniors in recognition of valued service to the team and program. I'm happy to recognize all of our seniors tonight. 
I would like to mention that our captain of the team, Zach Waterman, was selected as the Ruston Academic Team Competitor of the Year. And he will be recognized by the Chester County Intermediate Unit in a virtual ceremony later on this year. Congratulations to the following seniors. Bridget Duffy, Sam Eskinder, Sophia Franco, Brian Hamilton, Justin Morrison, Chris Palmer, Nathan Podgorski, Alex Rasmussen, Colin Shurik, Emma Southern, Zach Waterman, Skylar Watkins, and Catherine Zhu. Coach Blankenhagen and I want to thank all of our seniors for their leadership, their passion for competition, and for an outstanding four years of service. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Chesok. And now Mr. Deal will present the awards for RHS TV and for video production. Thank you, Dr. Murano. Video production program has grown each of the last three years, and that's really a credit to the students who create a welcoming, fun, and creative atmosphere. This year, we'd like to recognize Elsa Pansner, whose contributions both in class and during the morning broadcast has helped create an environment in which many students feel at home. Elsa, our home won't be the same without you in it next year. I'd also like to give an award for RHS TV. Making the morning announcements happen every day isn't accomplished easily. It takes the work of dedicated and talented students who come into school early every day to prepare for the show, though not always as early as I'd like them to. RHS TV would like to recognize Skylar Watkins for her effort and her time at Ruston in the morning during the announcements, serving in whatever capacity was necessary for the last four years to get the show off the ground each morning. Thank you, Skylar, and we'll miss you. Thank you, Mr. Deal. Continuing with the awards, the members of the United Club would like to thank and recognize the following seniors for being founding members of our Student Mentoring Club and for leaving a legacy of helping and supporting classmates and for helping to make Ruston a friendlier, more accepting place. Brent Long, Kelsey Lucenius, Julia Leonard, Madeline Folletti, Skylar Alcaro, Bridget Duffy, Hope Geisler, Kaylee Hawes, Lexi Hawes, Maddie Hinman, Abby Borklin, Madison Marzano, Elsa Pansner, Emma Southern, Isabel Okwolu, Skylar Watkins, and Kim Lee. The Model United Nations of Ruston High School would like to recognize Skylar Watkins for her considerable dedication to the club. Skylar did whatever was necessary to keep the club running and provide a great experience for her current and future classmates. Thank you, Skylar. The Health and Wellness Committee would like to thank these seniors for participating in and supporting the health and wellness efforts throughout Ruston High School the past two years. Derek Morgan, Francesca Fioravanti, and Matthew Rodney. Congratulations. Putting together the yearbook each year is no easy feat, but with the help of our students, we are able to highlight the memories throughout the year and give our school something they can always look back upon. This year, Leah O'Brien dedicated much of her time to the yearbook and is being recognized for her hard work and commitment with the yearbook award. Congratulations, Leah, and thank you. The following students are recognized and thanked for their con contributions to and leadership of Ruston's speech and debate team. They have helped move the team forward and leave behind a history of strong performances and clear expectations for remaining and future team members. Regina Gentili and Knox Hamilton. Everybody needs a friend, but not everybody has one. It can be very hard for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities to make connections on their own. The following students are the recipients of the Outstanding Participation Award for Best Buddies. Riley Boyd, Maddie Bucci, Regina Gentili, Emily Stanton, Breeze Barry, Scott Stammer, Knox Hamilton, Jack Callahan, Ethan Mullen, and Ryan Riley Smith. This year, the Ruston Best Buddies Club is pleased to announce a Peer Buddy of the Year Award to a senior that has gone above and beyond in creating an everlasting friendship with their buddy. This year's award goes to Brent Long. Congratulations, Brent. The Ruston Science Olympiad team would like to recognize the following students for their years of outstanding achievement and work while competing with the Science Olympiad team. 
Kim Lee, Patricia Curtis, Emily Houck, Wesley Flynn, and Andrew Single. Congratulations to all the award winners. That's the final award for clubs and activities. Hi, my name is Aubrey Eason and I'm a part of Rustin's class of 2020. And I'm here today to read you my graduation poem, so I hope you like it. <sighs> Even though I can't return to the place where we spent our time together. Even though I can't linger by the lockers between classes or eat lunch with you shoulder to shoulder. In my mind, I can walk through those hallways again. In my mind, I see my friends jostling each other playfully before homeroom until we are interrupted by the warning bell. I see the sun breaking through the high windows of the library as I crack my back and continue working. And I feel the vibrations of the cheering crowd racking the metal bleachers while I sip watery hot cocoa on a blistering Friday night, the trademark of our home football games. Although we may never walk together onto the stage for our diplomas, or have the chance to make those last few important memories. Thank you for all the small, insignificant ones that made these past four years worth it. Thanks. <laughs> it's now my pleasure to begin the presentation of the Athletic Awards. I would like to first introduce Mr. Taglang, who will be giving out the awards for cross country. Thank you, Dr. Morano. The Boys Cross Country Senior Award is given to a senior who has provided, through his hard work, maturity, and confidence, the leadership necessary to propel the Rustin Boys Cross Country team to a season of great accomplishments and pave the way for future successes. This year, the award goes to Nick Lutkavage. The Girls Cross Country Senior Award goes to a senior runner who has been dedicated to the cross country program in her years on the team. She has become a compassionate teammate, a trusted leader, and an example of what effort and hard work truly are. This year the award goes to Grace Schlesinger. Congratulations Nick and Grace. Thank you Mr. Taglang. Continuing with the athletic awards, I'd like to present the award for the Outstanding Senior Golfer. The Outstanding Senior Golfer Award is given to the senior golfer who has demonstrated leadership on and off the golf course. His leadership was invaluable to the team and to the coach. Congratulations, Matt Feeney. The Girls Tennis Coaches Award is given to the senior student athlete who best represents the direction of the Girls Tennis Program, specifically selflessness and total commitment to the team. This year, the award goes to Carson O'Leary. Congratulations. The Volleyball, Volleyball Leadership Award is given to a senior student athlete who shows leadership, determination, and a willingness to play anywhere necessary to help the team. She inspired the team to play at a higher level and brought that consistency and intensity to practice every day. Congratulations, Emily Supley. The Rock Award for Girls Volleyball grew tremendously as a player while at Ruston. Her blue collar mentality was infectious she never took a playoff, and we knew that she would be there when the match was on the line. Congratulations to Megan Dion. The winner of the Keystone Award for Girls Volleyball was the cement and set the team's offensive direction on the court. The Keystone binds the team together to offer a unified front. She was able to step in and set the offensive tone of the team no matter what circumstance. Congratulations to the Keystone Award winner for Girls Volleyball, Morgan Bitsberger. The Rustin Field Hockey Senior Award is presented to the senior field hockey player who best exemplify the characteristics of a Golden Knight. This player has distinguished herself by having the highest GPA of all the seniors on the team. This year, the award goes to Emma Southern. The Football Academic Achievement Award is presented to the senior football player who, through their hard work on and off the field, reflect the ideals of the scholar-athlete. These players have distinguished themselves by having the highest GPA of the seniors on the team. 
For this award, the Football Booster Club is presenting a book scholarship to Matt Montgomery. The William Hickman Football Award is presented to the senior football player whose sportsmanship, motivation, and attitude made him an outstanding member of his team and a credit to Ruston High School. This year's award goes to Jason Thornton. The Richard R. Scott Memorial Soccer Award is given to the senior soccer player who, in addition to showing great personal growth over the course of his career, contributed to the team in an unselfish manner and put the team's success before his individual accomplishments. This year's winner is Cesar Rodriguez Torres. The Dave Tordone Soccer Memorial Award is selected by the coaching staff for consistently being an exemplary role model by his teamwork, leadership, and love of the game. The award is named in memory of our first head coach, Dave Tordone, who passed away in 2013. Coach Tordone was a tremendous role model for our players, and he would be very proud to know that this year the award is being given to Matty Scafone. Congratulations, Matty. The Boys Soccer Booster Award is presented to the senior boys soccer player who best represents the ideals of the scholar-athlete. This player has distinguished himself by having one of the highest GPAs of the seniors on the team. This year's winner is Josh Berkowitz. Congratulations, Josh. The Girls Soccer Scholar-Athlete Award is given to the senior that best exemplifies the balance between athletics and academics. The recipient has been a key contributor to the program over her high school career while achieving at the highest academic level. This year, the winners are Brooke Burns and Gabby Hoffman. Congratulations. The Spirit, Swimming and Diving Spirit Award goes to the individual or individuals who have gone above and beyond every single day. He or she reflects the spirit of a Ruston Scholar-Athlete who inspires others through their own acts of initiative, leadership, sportsmanship, and mentorship. Through their actions, our team and school community grow and shine. The winners this year are Josh Berkowitz, Maddie Bucci, and Alec Perone. Congratulations. The following swimmers were nominated for the National Interscholastic Swimming Coaches Association Academic All-American Recognition. To qualify for this award, you must have swam for four years and maintained a 3.75 or higher GPA for seven semesters. This year, the seniors recognized were Josh Berkowitz, Austin King, Nick Lukavich, Matt Montgomery, Alec Perone, Alexander Rasmussen, Brooke Burns, Aaron Kozer, Lauren Lockhart, Shreya Roberson, and Lexi Strunk. Congratulations. The Boys Basketball Coaches Award goes to the senior boys basketball player who is a class act, who does whatever the team needs, and who is extremely coachable. This year, the award goes to two seniors, Bryce Pugh and Dan Wethy. Congratulations. The Girls Basketball Scholar Athlete Award is given to the senior that best exemplifies the balance between athletics and academics while maintaining the highest GPA. She has shown the coaching staff many characteristics of being a good teammate, including leadership, integrity, encouragement, respect, and care for others. This year's award goes to Grace Plona. Congratulations. The Boys and Girls Indoor Track and Field Senior Award goes to a senior athlete who has been dedicated to the program by being a strong and inspirational leader for track. This year, the awards go to Gabby Hoffman and Arjun Chattery. The Ice Hockey Coaches Award recipient for this year is Aaron King for his commitment to the team and his selflessness in carrying out his role with the heart, character, and discipline that are the foundation of our program. Congratulations, Aaron. The recipients of the Ruston Girls Varsity Ice, School, uh, Ice Hockey Coaches Award for their respective leadership, tenacity, and sportsmanship as the alternate captains for the season are Lydia Mason and Taylor Hudak. Congratulations. The cheerleading program would like to honor three athletes for their unwavering leadership and skills throughout the season. Not only did they lead their team to the Nationals in Orlando, Florida this year, but each excelled as an athlete. Each member was an invaluable part of our program, and we wish them all the best as they move on to the next chapter of their lives. Congratulations to Tara Baptiste, Curry Collins, and Gianna Magalon. Congratulations. The next set of awards will be presented by Mr. Harkins on behalf of both the wrestling and the baseball programs. Thank you, Dr. Morano. In honor of the class of 2020, as you can see, 
I grew a lockdown beard and dyed portions of it gray. You are welcome, class of 2020. I am honored and delighted to have the opportunity to present the awards for the wrestling and baseball programs at Ruston. Both programs have enjoyed great success over the years because of tremendous hardworking young men that have come before you. The following young men will be added to that list. First, the Outstanding Wrestler Award is presented to the senior wrestler who was excelled on the mat and provided leadership and guidance to the rest of the team. This year, the award goes to Gabe Walsh. The Wrestling Booster Scholarship Award is given to the senior wrestler with the highest cumulative grade point average during his high school career. This year, the award goes to hardworking Kevin Kent. The Baseball Coaches Award is presented to the senior baseball player who best displays outstanding play on the field along with superior leadership skills. This year, the award goes to two players, Chris Bianchi and Nick Halkovich. The Baseball Booster Book Award is presented to the senior baseball player who is a key contributor on the field and holds the highest grade point average on the team. Congratulations go to David Subers. Congratulations to all these young men and best of luck to the class of 2020 as you take on the next step in your lives. Great job, guys. Thank you, Mr. Harkins. Continuing with the Athletic Awards, the Boys Tennis Coaches Award is given to the player who best represents the Ruston tennis attitude of true competitiveness within the boundaries of sportsmanship and total team commitment. This year, the award goes to Luke Krikorian. The Girls Spring Track and Field Senior Award goes to a senior athlete who has been dedicated to the program throughout her high school career. She has led her team by example in performance as well as in character. This year, the award goes to two seniors, Janiah Newton Ridgeway and Izzy Okoloju. The Boys Spring Track and Field Senior Award goes to senior athletes who have been dedicated to the program throughout their career. They have led their team by example in performance as well as in character. This year's award goes to Sam Sumner. The Ruston Track and Field Boosters Senior Book Award goes to senior athletes who are planning on attending college and have participated in at least three seasons of outdoor track and field. The award is given based on good character, leadership, sportsmanship, and citizenship. This year, the award is given to Nick Dorenzi and Hannah Riquito. Congratulations to both of you. The Girls Lacrosse Senior Scholarship Senior Scholar Athlete Award is given to the senior that best exemplifies the balance between athletics and academics. The recipient has been a key contributor to the program over her high school career while also achieving at the highest academic level. This year, uh, there are two seniors being honored, Katie Ricciuti and Katie Stubbitz. Congratulations. The Softball Senior Award is presented to a senior that has demonstrated great leadership to the softball program always bringing a determined and positive attitude to the field and striving to get better every day while pushing her teammates to do the same. Congratulations to this year's award winner, Hope Geisler. Congratulations. The Boys Lacrosse Senior Leadership Award is given to two seniors that best exemplify leadership on and off the field. These two recipients have been key contributors to the program over their respective careers while also making working to make a difference in their school community. This year's winners are Vince Myers and Jake Spaniak. The final athletic awards will be presented by our athletic director, Mr. Langraff. Mr. Langraff. Thank you, Dr. Morano. Hello, seniors, parents, and Ruston community, and congratulations to everyone. Seniors, even though the school year, activities, and the spring sports season were cut short this year, it doesn't take away from the growth you've all made and the many lasting memories you've created on and off the field as individuals and as a class. It is a great pleasure to introduce our final athletic awards. First is the Ruston High School Most Outstanding Athlete Award. This is given to the young man and young woman who have proven themselves to be the most outstanding athletes in the senior class. Every year this award is voted upon by the head coaches at Ruston High School. This year's male recipient was a three-sport athlete in football, swimming, and lacrosse. He has been recognized as a first-team All-League recipient in football and swimming, and a first-team All-State recipient in football. He is the co-record holder of the 200 free relay, 
in swimming and is the third time fastest freestyle swimmer in Ruston history. He was captain of the football, swimming, and lacrosse teams this year and will attend the University of Delaware on a lacrosse scholarship next fall. This year's award winner is Matthew Montgomery. Congratulations, Matt. This year's female recipient is a three-sport athlete in soccer, basketball, and lacrosse. She has received recognition in both all area and all league throughout her career at Ruston. She was recognized as a first and second team all league recipient for girls soccer the past two years, an honorable mention recipient for girls basketball this year. She plans to attend Temple University in the fall and major in accounting. This year's winner is Grace Polona. Congratulations, Grace. The Ruston High School Scholar Athlete Award. This is given to the male and female student athletes who hold the highest cumulative GPA among those who have earned two or more varsity letters in their senior year. This year's female recipient was a two-sport athlete in field hockey and softball. This year's male recipient was a two-sport athlete in tennis and cross country. These recipients were leaders on their teams, in their classes, and in the community. These two athletes were tremendous ambassadors of our school and of our athletic program. This year, we congratulate Luke Kikorian and Emma Southern. Congratulations to all of our senior athletes. Go Rustin. Our final set of awards are in the area of art, music, and theater. So I'll begin with artists. The Senior Artists Award. The seniors chosen for this award have demonstrated leadership skills by organizing programs and offering assistance to others. Their skill and dedication to the art department help the program to flourish. The students have chosen a piece of work to become part of our Ruston Permanent Art Collection, which are on display in the school. The Senior Artists for 2020 are Abigail Bernard and Corinne Farley. The National Art Honor Society Award goes to a student who has gone above and beyond to advocate for the arts. This student is being recognized for academic excellence in the arts and dedication to promoting art in Ruston and in the greater Westchester community. This student has chosen a piece of work that will become part of our Ruston Permanent Art Collection, which is on display in the school. This year's recipient is Sahara Widmeyer. The following students are being recognized as members of the Ruston Art Honor Society. The Ruston Art Honor Society works to bring awareness of the visual arts into the Ruston and greater Westchester communities and works on a variety of community service projects. The students being honored are Gabby Hoffman, Corinne Farley, Abby Kane, Abby Bernard, Abby Borklin, Leah O'Brien, Grace Corrito, Catherine Zhu, Ella Wood, Emma Southern, Mara Connell, Catherine Rice Rivera, Tara Marcelli, Casey Goodwin, Kaylee Clark, Alexander Waldman, Skylar Watkins, Emily Halk, Rebecca Nieves, Shane McCrell, Sarah Soroka, Elise Maddy, and Sahara Widmeyer. And now Mr. Shoremount and Mr. Byerly will present the awards for music and for theater. Thank you, Dr. Morano. The United States Marine Corps Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence is presented to one male and one female band member each year. It is presented by the United States Marine Youth Foundation and the Marine Corps League in recognition of diligence, dedication, and musical excellence as a performing high school bandsman. The recipients of the Semper Fidelis Award are Andrew Single and Jordan Serencione. The Fred Waring Director's Award for Chorus is given in recognition of outstanding achievement and interest in vocal music for demonstrating superior musicianship, enthusiasm, and dedication, and for displaying a high quality of conduct that vocal music requires. This year's recipients are Christopher Palmer and Emma Southern. The National School Choral Award is the highest honor given to high school choral performers. It recognizes the dedication, ability, musical achievement, and outstanding contributions by one male and one female student who displayed an extraordinary degree of loyalty, cooperation, and a high quality of conduct, adding to the success of the school choral program. This award goes to Bridget Duffy and Ryan Meyerdirk. 
The Director's Award for Orchestra honors a leader in orchestra whose commitment and dedication to the program and smaller ensembles is undeniable. The Director's Award for Orchestra is presented to Madeline Hinman. The National School Orchestra Award is the highest honor you can bestow upon a member of the high school orchestra to recognize excellence in playing and contributions to the ensemble. The National School Orchestra Award is presented to Katie Kelly. The Director's Award for Band is presented to two senior band members in recognition of outstanding achievement in music for demonstrating superior musicianship, enthusiasm, and dedication, and for displaying a high quality of conduct that band requires. This year's recipients are Justin Choi and Matthew Ferguson. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is presented in recognition of outstanding achievements in the field of jazz, as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity. This year, the award is presented to Wesley Flynn. The John Philip Sousa Award for Band is presented in recognition of outstanding achievement and interest in music for singular merit and loyalty and cooperation and for displaying those high qualities of conduct that school instrumental music requires. This year's award is presented to Alex Snelling. The following students are being recognized for their selection and participation in Rustin's Tri-M National Music Honor Society. Morgan Bitsberger, Justin Choi, Jordan Serincion, Bridget Duffy, Lucas Edmonds, Abby Earhart, Matthew Ferguson, Wesley Flynn, Madeline Hinman, Katie Kelly, Kim Lee, Kelsey Lucinius, Daniel McNamara, Ryan Meyerdirk, Justin Morrison, Max Nielsen, Janiah Newton Ridgeway, Nina and Serico, Christopher Palmer, Alec Perone, Alexander Rasmussen, Colin Shurek, Alexander Snelling, Emma Southern, and Catherine Zhu. Congratulations to the following senior chorus members who have successfully completed four years of service to the choral music department. Morgan Bitsberger, Bridget Duffy, Abby Earhart, Megan Hartz, Ryan Meyerdirk, Nina and Serico, and Christopher Palmer. Congratulations to the following senior orchestra members who have successfully completed four years of service to the string orchestra department. Katie Kelly, Madeline Hinman, Michael Krosik, and Elise Maddy. Congratulations to the following senior band members who have successfully completed four years of service with the Rustin Band. Justin Choi, Lucas Edmonds, Matthew Ferguson, Wesley Flynn, Daniel Godin, Anders Klinger, Daniel McNamara, Justin Morrison, Max Nielsen, Janaya Newton Ridgeway, Christopher Palmer, Alex Rasmussen, Colin Shurek, Katya Simpkins, Andrew Single, John Sluck, Alex Snelling, Stuart Van Cott, Adam Weibel, and Catherine Sue. Congratulations to all of our senior musicians. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Byerly, who will present the awards for theater. Thank you, Mr. Shermel. We would now like to present some theater awards, starting with the International Honors Thespian Society. For students to be inducted into this society, they accumulate hours through a variety of shows in many different production areas. I believe this is the biggest class of seniors we've had, with 35 accumulating well over 12,000 hours of excellent service to the theater. For this, we would like to recognize Abby Bernard, Morgan Bitsberger, Abby Bjorklund, Kaylee Clark, Gabby Davis, Bridget Duffy, Lucas Edmonds, Matthew Ferguson, Wesley Flynn, Grace Higgins, Madeline Hinman, Cameron Haish, Isabel Keefe, Simone Kegg, Kim Lee, Brent Long, Kelsey Lucenius, Daniel Mahoney, Elise Maddy, Justin Morrison, Alyssa Murak, Max Nielsen, Nina Anserico, Christopher Palmer, Catherine Rice Rivera, Colin Schur, Katya Simpkins, Andrew Single, Alex Snelling, Emma Southern, Emily Stanton, Aidan Winfield, Ella Wood, Hannah Wright, and Catherine Zhu. 
That's a lot of names and much talent that we will miss next year. In addition, the theater likes to recognize students who have participated all four years in the musical. But to receive this award, not only must they have participated, but they need to be a role model and a leader throughout the productions. For this, we would like to recognize the top musical pit member, Justin Morrison. Top musical crew member, two this year, Abby Bernard and Nina Inserico. And the top musical cast member, again two, Kaylee Clark and Bridget Duffy. Of all the International Honors Thespian Society members, Juan has distinguished himself by accumulating well over 1,200 hours by himself. Typically, he takes on the roles behind the scenes, building the set, as well as designing and running lights. He has, however, also been on stage for at least two productions. This student is not only a terrific lighting technician, but is also a responsible leader and a friend. This year's outstanding thespian is Colin Shurik. Well-deserved, Colin. Congratulations to all of our seniors. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, this concludes our 2020 Senior Awards Ceremony. I hope you guys enjoyed the compilation. I hope that you guys stay well. I look forward to you guys seeing our virtual commencement ceremony on Friday. Congratulations to all of our winners. I wish you guys the best of luck, and I hope to see you guys before the summer is out. Take care.